hello everyone it's Tony now in my last video I asked you guys if you see anything really beautiful for your home and you wanted to recreate it send me a picture of it post it on my Facebook page now I got quite a few requests and one of the requests came from a viewer named Tony now Tony showed me pictures of these beautiful wedding card boxes and one of them I thought was really beautiful because it was made of this metal frame and it had all of these um, crystal pieces around it. It was sort of see-through and I thought now that would be really challenging to recreate. So of course I wanted to recreate that one first. So I want to show you what I came up with. I created my own beautiful wedding bling card box and I use all pieces from the Dollar Tree. So this box only cost me about $16 to make. Now the, the original piece that Tony showed me, I looked up and cost close to $300 for one box. So this one is for you, Tony. I think this will look really beautiful on your wedding table and I wanna show you all how I recreated this. For this project, you're going to need four bags of small clear glass gems, four rolls of diamond wrap ribbon, a roll of regular ribbon, a bouquet of silk flowers. Now, I looked all over for like a wireframe box to recreate this, and then I found these baskets at Dollar Tree, and I thought they might work well because. If I put two of them together, it would be about the same size as the box in the picture. And it also had a pattern die cut that would make it look see-through. So I got two of these. It would be great if they had black or white baskets, but unfortunately they only had green. So I'm going to have to spray paint these. I'm using Krylon metallic silver spray paint and Minwax Polycrylic Protective Finish. You're also gonna need a hot glue gun and everything here I got from the Dollar Tree except the hot glue gun and the spray paint. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is to spray my baskets with the metallic silver spray paint. And I'm gonna give it two nice even coats on the outside let that dry and then spray the inside. After the silver is dry, I'm going to spray the outside with a Min Wax Polyacrylic Protective Coating. And I'm using this coating because spray painting on plastic um, is easily scratched off. So the protective coating will make it a little more scratch resistant. Now this next step you should do before you spray paint the baskets, but I forgot to do that so I have to do it now. I'm going to measure and draw an opening big enough for large cards to fit at the top of this box. Then I'm using an X-Acto knife to slowly cut along the lines that I just threw to cut an opening into the top of the box. And this opening is probably a little too wide so you can make it a little smaller probably enough to fit maybe two cards. So next I'm going to wrap around the opening with diamond wrap ribbon. So I'm going to turn this to the inside and I'm going to cut two pieces the length of the opening. Then I'm going to hot glue half of the two pieces to the inside of the top. Flip it over and hot glue the other half to the outside of the top. Then I cut and glued two strands on each side. Now I'm going to cut a long two row piece and use it to trim around the edges of the basket. Now I'm cutting long one strand pieces and I'm using the hot glue to glue the strand across the center of the opening of the pattern die cut. After all the diamond strips are glued on both pieces, I'm hot gluing the clear glass gems in between the diamond strips approximately under each shape. 
After all the gems were done, I decided to put some more diamond strips around the edges. And I also covered the rest of the top of the box with the diamond wrap ribbon. So this is what the box will look like when it's put together. I'm using this pretty sheer ribbon to tie the box together by the handles on each end. I also decided to tie the ribbon around some white flowers and add flowers to the top of the box, behind and around the opening. Just one warning about this, you have to be careful when you're handling it. Since I spray painted this basket and glued the glass pieces on, it will come off if you pull on it or knock it because the um, pieces are pretty much sitting on the paint. So when you pick up the piece, you want to pick it up by the handles on each side. And also, when you're ready to get your cards out, you can just untie the sides to open up the box. Or, if you want to turn this into a lock box, you can get a jewelry chain or a chain from the hardware store and wrap it around each handle. And pick up a small silver key lock and lock the ends of the chain on each handle. So even though this is not a very expensive piece, it will make a very gorgeous, blingy addition to your gift table at your next wedding. Next, I'll try my hand at the wedding cake gift box, so stay tuned. Add me on Snapchat at Your House of Home and Instagram at Your House of Home TV for daily home, food, and gardening tips.